Okay. Hi, I wanted to show you now that we, um, I have another video that I've made that shows how to upload music, um, into your Dropbox. So I just wanted to show how, um, I take music from my Dropbox and import it into Fourscore so that, um, it's accessible for a student with a foot pedal. So, um, the first thing you need to do is you would need to, um, download the app for score. So I have the app for score. And once you um, load it in, um, I can't remember if I had to make an account or not, but there's, um, there's different things you can do within four scores. So um, you can annotate, you can rearrange, you can take notes, you can crop. Um, there's piano and record. So it's kind of a cool tool for musicians. Um, so what you want to do from this area is, um, up on your top bar, you've on the um, left hand side, you've got a note, a book, and then you've got your three lines. Um, and then over on your, um, right hand side, you've got a magnifying glass, um, which would allow you to search for music. You've got your metronome, um, which would also give you your pitch and your tuner. Um, and then you also have something that looks like a briefcase. So um, the briefcase is where you wanna go and um, you wanna go down to services. And from here, mine is already set up, but um, the first time I did this, you can choose which service you want. So um, I chose Dropbox. And, um, in fact, I think, yeah, so here you, so I, um, I added Dropbox. You can add other services. So you could add, let me go back to that. So there's a plus sign up in the upper left-hand corner. You can click on the plus sign. And, um, if you were importing things from Google drive or OneDrive or an iCloud box, right? Like you can choose any of those and, um, like if I were to do Google Drive, then I could um, connect my Google Drive account. But um, I'm just gonna do Dropbox for now. So that's where my music is coming in from. So Dropbox. And um, these are the, um, this is the music that I have imported from Dropbox. So um, now what I can do from here is I can load music directly into it. So I know just for me, I know that um, ones I am working on currently, the ones that I've uploaded that need to be uploaded into Fourscore are this Lesson 8 Pitch and Lesson 8 Rhythm. So all you have to do is actually just click on it and it will show that it's um, uploading. And once those are in, I can click Done. Now, now that I'm back at my um, just regular page. I'm going to actually come over here the far left corner, the music note, and I'm going to click on music and I should be able to see lesson eight rhythm and lesson eight pitch, which is great. And, um, so when my student goes to go practice, she can choose which one she will be practicing next. So let's say she was doing lesson eight rhythm. She would select lesson eight rhythm and it would bring her here. Now, um, the next thing I wanted to show you is how to navigate through pages. So um, if the student didn't have a foot pedal, they would just take their finger and they would just swipe it with their finger. And I know you can't see my finger swiping because you can only see the page. But um, what they can do is if you have connected um, their iPad with a foot pedal, you would just... Um, turn on the Bluetooth foot pedal and you would want to make sure that it was um, connected through your Bluetooth setting in um, generals. Um, I, I currently do not have the foot pedal, but there it is. It's the Bluetooth music pedal. It's the very first one. Um, and I would make sure that it was connected. And then they would set their iPad up on the, um, on the music stand and they, when they got to the end of a measure, they could click the foot pedal and it would turn the page. Um, one thing I have told my students is as, you know, like 
as she was playing along um, to just kind of think ahead. So, you know, as she gets to the end, close to the end of a measure to know that like, oh, I've got a, a page turn coming up. So um, either like memorize the last two or just be prepared for what's, what's coming next. Um, so, and that takes, that'll take some practice and some, um, it's an, an extra step that their peers are not working with, right? Because um, they are not changing pages as often as our students are with enlarged pages. So that's one thing that um, our students will need to work on. Um, I also wanted to show you which foot pedal um, I personally have bought um, and that I like. So actually, let me just get to my Amazon cart. Um, so this is the foot pedal that I have personally bought. It's the Donner Bluetooth Page Turner. It's $61. Um, and it ends up being a really great. So I like having that there's two pedals so a student can use the one pedal for turning page for you know page advanced forward and the other pedal for page advanced back so you know like as they um, are reading through their music if they make a mistake or if the teacher tells them like oh I would like you to go back to measure four you know they can take the page and advance back so um, and this particular foot pedal you can um, you can choose different settings so it can either scroll up and down so if um, if the student has um, their music positioned um, maybe you know a different way like if it was vertical instead of horizontal and they needed to scroll from the top of the screen down to the bottom you could um, change your foot pedals to do scrolling um, you can change the foot pedals from right and left. So if you wanted, um, you know, like if you, if your student liked to advance their pages using the left pedal instead of the right pedal, um, you can switch those. So it's kind of, um, anyway, it's one that we have really liked. So, um, the Donner Bluetooth page turner. Yeah. So that's kind of what, um, what we have done and, um, I know that there are other music programs out there. Um, Fourscore just ended up being the one that was the easiest for us to navigate. And um, we really like how it works. So, yeah, thanks.